Nah, I'll come in whenever I want. What's happening to YouTube? It's your boy Bounty Tank back. Another vlog. First off, I want to tell you guys, appreciate you guys, man, who've been, who've been rocking with your boy. Just past 200K. Let's get this channel to a million, man. Keep sharing. Appreciate you guys. So, on this topic. They're investigating an officer-involved shooting that occurred. It happened this morning about 7.30. Police say they were contacted by bail bonds agents who were trying to catch a violent fugitive felon. Two hours later, police got a call of shots fired on Solon Road. Police say this man, Charles Jones Hill, had jumped out a window to get away from the bond agents. He landed on an agent that was outside and a struggle began. That's when the shots were fired. A second round was fired from Hill's apartment in defense. Hill was shot once. He is expected to recover. So you see the article on this and the news, you know, the news recap, man. So I'm going to give you my opinion on this and I'm probably going to piss some people off. I don't care. Y'all know I keep it raw. But the way, so basically to wrap this up, these guys, go to this man's house who's a violent fugitive to apprehend him and guy jumps out the window onto another agent, supposedly grab, goes for his gun and the other agent comes out, shoot him in the back. So I'm gonna tell you my opinion on this. It's complete bullshit. Um, and they're not releasing names. I'm not gonna say any names, but I personally know one of the guys who was involved in this and he had no type of training. He came to us trying to get on and he didn't want to learn. He didn't want to follow me around. He thought he knew it all. And when, you, when you're when you in this business, you need to learn. You need to get as much training as you can possibly because you get in a situation like this, now they shot someone. So as I'm reading this article, <laughs> I'm laughing to myself like, how could someone, so there's, there's, there's a guy going in and, and they have guys outside watching the house in case obviously jumps out the window, which he did. How on earth can this guy jump out the window onto you. Like, it, he would have to be Batman or Spider-Man to open up the window gently, you cannot see him, and jump on you. Like, that's some Spider-Man shit. I mean, unless the agent was trying to catch him, which is complete bullshit. So I'm gonna tell you what I think happened. Um, dude opened the window, jumped out. The agent down there basically probably tried to apprehend him and Dude manhandled him. He, you know, took him down, beat his ass, and, and you know, he manhandled him. So the other agent that was in the house came out, and what did he do? He panicked. He panicked. This is why I say you can't always reach for your gun first. He panicked, grabbed the gun, and he shot this dude in the back. So this is what I always be stressing about. You can't always go for your weapon. That can't be your number one thing. He could have tased the dude. He could have maced him. Now, granted, if he really was going for this man's gun, I get it, yes, but I doubt that happened. I really doubt. I think he was manhandling him, and the other agent was too scared to physically try to come help this man, so he shot him. He didn't know what else to do. And when you get in these situations where people, they're gun touchers, they don't know how to physically hand, handle themselves, the first thing they are gonna do is reach for a gun, and they're gonna shoot somebody like this, man. So I think it's gonna be a big lawsuit, very big lawsuit, you know, it's a city bonds, man. This is what happens when you're taking out agents that are not properly trained and they don't know what they're want. They don't know what they're doing. Man, this is not TV. This ain't Dog the Bounty Hunter. That stuff's stage, man. This is real life shit and real life people you're dealing with. Um, I think the only thing that's even saving this, they're even giving this guy, these guys a chance is because the fugitive was actually a violent fugitive. That's giving them some leeway. But I honestly think it's complete bull. And when the story fully comes out, I think it's gonna be exactly what I'm saying. The guy jumped out the window, he tried to tackle him, he couldn't, fuse the man or the agent. The, the agent's partner came outside, panicked, didn't know what to do, so the first thing he did was grab a gun and shoot him. So, I mean, it's complete BS, man. And um, again, I'm gonna piss some people off, I don't care. <laughs> I preach it, get training, man. Don't just jump in this field thinking you gonna, it's, this ain't TV, okay? And when you're really in, the mist and you're in the heat, that's when shit goes down. You gotta be you gotta be calm and collective. So just my opinion on this man, you know, again, it is what it is, but just wanted to talk about that guys. Check out the article. I put it up. I'm gonna give you the link in the description. Check the article out. And uh you can read it yourselves, man. <laughs> it makes no sense at all, you know. So hey again, appreciate you guys rocking. Make sure you go check out the latest hunts. 
Hey, make sure you turn your notifications on. You guys be like, where's the videos at? Ain't no hunt videos. There are some. You gotta turn your notifications on because you know I do the hunts and the fitness. So turn your notifications on so you don't miss it. But appreciate you guys. Talk to you later. Hey, anybody getting in this field, please get the proper training, man. Go check out the ebook I got on my uh, website, bountytank.com, man. It, it teaches you shit that you don't learn, you know, out there in the field, man. Stuff that you need to know. So check it out, man. Holla at y'all later.